All right, so this will be the last video on deception. I had to do three videos in total because it would have just been a mess trying to talk about him, his level, and his Easter egg all at once. But this video would be all about him, who he is, and how he happened. Deception is a dead beta bug blaster. He resides in the old beta of Little Big Planet, which is said to no longer be accessible. So he's pretty much stuck in beta, he died in there, and can only come out for short bursts of time. If his ghost manages to come within close proximity of your sack person, he will pull you into beta. The closed beta is the only place sackboy.exe cannot see you, nor will he himself enter for a very mysterious reason. But sackboy.unzipped can, and will hunt you down in beta before deception does. Deception is a ghost in the machine, victim of Sackboy.exe, and haunts create mode just like the red-eyed and black-skinned friend of ours, but he is very different from Sackboy.exe, and only appears after he was unzipped. When you unzipped Sackboy.exe, everything changed. The story changed, new characters were created, and Sackboy.exe wasn't the only thing that was freed from that zipper. A lot of major changes are taking place that I still haven't really talked about, but I will in the future videos. For right now, it's time to take a look at Deception. As a normal beta tester in LBP's open beta, he searched relentlessly for any bugs and glitches that may occur while dying and respawning in Little Big Planet. He was obsessed with the idea of earning the beta bug blaster outfit and did everything and anything he could to try and break the beta. He eventually earned the costume by doing one of the most careless and absurd things you can do in LBP, repeatedly die on purpose. After accumulating an extremely high number of deaths and a ridiculous amount of crazy different ways to die, he managed to uncover a glitch he called the death glitch, where your sack person is killed, doesn't respawn, but you are still able to edit the level without sack boy. So he ended up filing a huge report on it and how to execute it. Then he continued testing the beta for any other bugs and glitches, but didn't manage to find anything else. After discovering the death glitch, he did however notice a few strange anomalies every time he died from that point on, but passed them off as just silly hallucinations. Strangely enough, he received his beta bug blaster costume a day before the end of beta. Excitedly, he rushed to put it on, but after some time had passed, he noticed that he couldn't take it off. His option to leave the moon was also missing, and so was his access to his poppet, ability to hover, pause, or rewind the level. He figured this was another big bug that should be reported when he noticed a sack boy tied to string. Stuck there, both dead and alive, and blinded by the desire to take revenge on the sackboy who did this to him, his ghost will drag unsuspecting players into beta in an attempt to switch places with them. Or even worse, he may confuse you with sackboy.exe and try hanging you himself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story of deception. There'll be plenty more sackboy.exe very soon. Don't get dragged into the beta while on LBP and have a nice day.